Hello RuneScape 4 fans, uh, it's uh, RuneScape 4 and today I'm going to try a Taiwanese cookie, it's called uh, Cruncho. Uh, this is what it looks like, it's got little almonds in it and it almost looks like a uh, an American version of the uh, rice cakes. As you can see it's circular round, it's got the same thickness and it actually looks like the same texture that would be in a rice cake. So, uh, bottoms up. <laughs> Crumbles like one, too. <laughs> First off, it's very, very dry. There's no moisture whatsoever in this cookie, so... It definitely goes down a little rough. But, um, it actually kind of has a burnt taste to it almost. Or like a very, very dark chocolate taste. So I guess they use like dark chocolate to make this. Now, these little cookies are, um, 100 calories each. And I guess these are, um, yeah, they have almonds on them, which are good. And I made a big mess. <laughs> yeah, that's why I got a vacuum cleaner. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> so so far, this actually isn't too bad. Like I said, it's got that. It's like a burnt taste, but then again, some dark chocolates have a burnt taste to them, or at least some of the ones I've had. So either they're supposed to taste like that, or I just really, really get the bad ones. So uh, second bite. Mm. <laughs> yeah, still kind of getting that little bit of a burnt taste, but other than that. It'd be nice if it was a little bit moist so it would go down easier, but it, it actually does taste kind of good. I could definitely see myself buying these and eating these. And then for another one, we're doing this thing called a uh, Kid O. Uh, this is a snack from Taiwan as well. My roommate got a bunch of them. Uh, well, I think this is from Taiwan. I never heard of this uh, brand of cracker before. It's a creamy butter cracker sandwich. So uh, let's open it up and see what it looks like. Let me get a piece that fell off. Okay, so it looks like there's three crackers in here total. Another little piece that fell off. Okay, actually, no, there is. Two uh, crackers with a uh, cream on them, and then one sandwiched in the middle. So as you can see there, you can see the layers. Let's um, take one off. This is very poorly designed. As you see, you got the little lines on the crackers, but the lines don't latch up with each other. So this is gonna get real messy. Or not. Okay, so there is the cream filling. That definitely has a uh, butter taste to it. Oh yeah, it definitely has a very strong buttery smell. Hmm. That's actually not that bad. It has a um, very good taste. It definitely has a better taste than the cookie. Although the cookie is still good, but I, I take more of these. And let's see. Um, I, think I just ripped off the one thing. No. This doesn't say how many calories are in these, but I'm going to assume a lot of calories. Maybe 80, 90. If I actually find out, I'll put that in the comments below with the nutrition facts and everything. 
and where you can actually find these at. Now, you can probably find them on Amazon. You can find a lot of foreign foods and snack items on Amazon. And some of the money I'll get paid from this, I'll actually order. There's some uh, Japanese Kit Kats. I want to try that. I like a green tea flavor, a strawberry flavor. And they only make those in Japan, so I definitely want to try to order some of those and try those out and to let you guys know what they taste like. But, uh, these are just gonna be some short videos I could do to, um, while I wait to hear back from, uh, copyright laser so that way I can actually legally upload more videos. Because with this new recording system, uh, some of those videos I uploaded from the Nintendo 64, as soon as I upload them, they were immediately copyrighted by Nintendo before I even had them registered for the Nintendo Creators Program. Now my other Nintendo videos, they were never copyrighted because of either the low quality, the sound you could barely hear, I don't know what it was, but until I actually marked them as copyright through the Nintendo Creator Program, they were never actually copyrighted. So I definitely got to um, be careful of what games I upload here, and then I gotta wait to get the copyright permission. Now, I am ready to hear back from the uh, copyright office because I asked them about the 3DO company because I would like to make some YouTube videos with the, from the 3DO company, but they're out of business. They've been out of business since 2003, and the website and company is up for sale. So, knowing that, I don't, there's no contact information. The old business has already been bought out and is now a medical firm. The number is disconnected, the email is no longer in service, so. There is no way to contact the former owner. So hopefully I hear back from the copyright office. I've also asked uh, Capcom and uh, Treyarch permission for Black Ops, The Resident Evil, Dino Crisis to upload those videos. And then I did ask permission from Alware and GoGo -Go Games who created the Brave Drawers that I can uh, actually legally pirate the game. That I, that was surprising. Once I got the email, they told me that that game was out of circulation for a very long time and that we give you permission to pirate the game online. I've never heard of a video game company that actually told me to pirate a game and I was going to legally buy a copy of this old game from them and they told me to pirate it. So I, I just find that kind of hilarious because you never hear them say Go pirate my game. I mean, come on, look at Nintendo. They won't let you do that. Hell, they won't even let you uh, buy the old games anywhere, not even the ROMs, for the emulators, which they consider stealing, piracy, illegal, yada yada. I don't look at it that way. But, nonetheless, I am still waiting to hear back from those companies to get copyright permission to upload the YouTube videos. So hopefully they will say yes. And I will try to do uh, Hello Neighbor Alpha 3 again. We're going to try to beat it. And if you want to see me retake on Slender Man a third time, let me know. Or if you would like to see me scared to living hell, then that request me to play Five Nights at Freddy's. And I will definitely do that. But until then, please subscribe. Leave comments. There should be a poll up on uh, this side. The camera's inverted. I'm pointing over here and it's pointing to my left and my left hand's on my right. So this corner here, there should be a poll. I'll, I'll have some games and some other ideas for you to vote on to see which ones you think I should do next. So also, if I do do the Five Nights at Freddy's, be warned I may swear because I'm going to get the living crap scared out of me. I cannot play that game without getting scared to death, and neither could my roommate. So uh, please subscribe, leave comments, and as always, have a nice day, live, love, and game on.